Bruce, I'm just having a slash. <laughs> Can you chuck that in? Wait for the shake. Back on here in five minutes, Sammy. Back out, I love you. Good evening and welcome to Couch Network News. Tonight we have an exclusive report. Dramatic pictures of a talking budgie from Coburg. State government legislation designed to give Victorian tourism a much needed boost. And Barry Reefer presents a special on marijuana that no concerned parent can afford to miss. All this and more on Couch Network News. First of all, Melbourne's cultural elite were today stunned by the revelation that a budgie in the northern suburbs could in fact quote large slabs of Dostoevsky. Sounds incredibly amazing, Bruce. Let's cross live now to our reporter David Grasby, live on location in Coburg. Who's... Dots, whatever. Listen, Sam, read a bit. Get a life, Sam. Fuck off. Hi, coming live from Coburg at the house of the talking budgie. I just rang Marge Crookshank before and she appears to be home, so I'll just knock and have a chat, shall we? Matt! Who are you? Go get Marge for me. Jesus. Marge, I rang you before from the TV station. I've come to talk about your budgie. The, my what, Sonny? I your budgie, your oh, old bag. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so who, who might you be then? I rang you before. My name's Dave Grasby. You spend too much time making biscuits and not enough time watching television. That's your bloody problem. Oh, well, um, would you like to come inside for a cup, I love? I'm come not going to see the budgie out here, am I? Come on. So, Marge, do you think you'd be able to show us your talking budgie here? Uh, Sonny, he's uh, just here. Here he is. Oh. oh my god, you're bloody kidding. You sent us all the way out here for a kinder surprise. We are not going to hear chapter 5 of Crime and Punishment from this piece of plastic shit, are we? That will not impress the home viewer, will it? Will yeah, it? Yeah, you listen here, Sonny. You're a bit of a. Oh, jeez, the old bag hit me in the nuts. Hey. Hit me in the nuts. Hey. Oh, hey. fuck. Oh. oh, thanks, love. Well That's done. beautiful. Don't you guys just stand round, cross I'm a right. fucking star. Pick me up. Pick me up. Let's go. Hey, don't fucking leave. I'm paralysed. Um, brown. Um, then how do you feel about the legalisation of marijuana? Um, yeah, good idea. Yeah, why is that? Um, feels good. Okay, fair okay. enough. Thank you. Last night, the former opposition leader, Mr Geoffrey Kennant, from his home in Surrey Hills, let loose a whirlwind number of changes to improve our wonderful city, Bruce. Thongs, that's right, thongs! Thongs are now banned in the city area! A spokesman for Mr Kennant spoke to CNN today and told us about the impending legislation. Thongs. Thongs are ugly and poor. And our city is for the rich and beautiful. The poor people can just clear on out and make way for the number of prestige and international tourists, said Mr Kennett. People from respectable suburbs wouldn't even contemplate wearing thongs, let alone buy them. That's right, so therefore, for those good reasons, thongs are now banned in the city. And Sam, did you know that you could face amputation or a hefty fine? Hefty fine? Yes, I did. That's terrible. Victoria on the move. Imagine that with no feet. Mr Kennett is also contemplating closing down shops at Thalsongs in an effort to get rid of these eyesores. More on this as it comes to hand. Or foot as it is. Couch. Couch, yeah. Oh, brown. Brown, oh, excellent. Um, how do you feel about the legalisation of marijuana? Don't you worry me. Doesn't worry you? Uh -huh. um, do you think thongs should be banned from the city area? Don't you worry me. Do you think it's a good idea to ban thongs in the city area? I uh, didn't know they were thinking about it. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. In response to these sweeping changes, an emergency meeting of the Incoherent Drunks Association of Victoria has been called in Yowie country. We crossed live now to our man on the scene, David Grasby. Over to you, Dave. Ah, uh, sounds wide, sounds wide, sounds wide. Hot drink, piss, and wear sandals. Thank you. Jump in his sandals! Jump in them! Jump out of them! I reckon every boy 
She drink a beer and see Chloe by the time he's fine. What are you talking about? What? Well, thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Felicity Teetotaler from the Incoherent Drunks Convention. All oh, right, again from Victoria, we have another news flash. Transport Minister um, Mr. Alan Big Boy Brown has decided to end all public transport in Melbourne. That is, except for the public transport, which can take you to the Crown Casino. In response to the public outrage, Mr. Brown says, what the hell is wrong with these people? He added further that I've had a car since I was 17 years old. And I'll tell you what, me sonny, it's never been on strike. The Kennett government as a whole has refused to negotiate with community groups, much to the disgust of the carless population of Victoria. Haha, <laughs> the carless population of Victoria. What I can suggest to you people is maybe you should walk yourself on down to the shoe shop Get yourself a good pair of imported sneakers and walk on back home again. A couch, yeah. um, cream, green and burgundy. And also, what do you think of the latest spate of freeway extensions? Do you think the money could be spent more wisely? Oh, sometimes it could, yeah. Okay. What do you think of the latest spate of freeway extensions? Do you think the money could be spent better? I don't know much about them because I'm actually from Sydney. A senior Mori, a pirotari, the brown couch of Edendari. A Richmond and Clifton Hill. Comprari, the brown couch. the Polpot Institute of Health and Beauty have come up with a revolutionary new product. Those wonderful people at Polpot have produced the latest technology and science equipment to reduce the blusher to beat all blushes, Khmer Rouge. Khmer Rouge is a long-lasting and hard-wearing product. It even enhances the most flabbiest of cheeks. It's a combination of special jungle juices and mosquito larvae and will complement any kind of eyeshadow. Khmer Rouge is not tested on small animals or small children and will not deplete the ozone layer. It's especially recommended for our harsh climate and is only tested on Australian tourists. So look out for Khmer Rouge, camouflaged at a chemist near you. The latest news flash comes to us from Victoria again and Premier Jeff Kennett. That makes it three, doesn't it, Joppa. Sam? It's a bit of a hat trick, isn't it? Anyway, well, Premier Kennett has um, banned all people with brains from Victoria. <sighs> Perhaps due to the fact that these intelligent people are asking too many too questions. questions. After all, as Mr Kennett has said, you can't talk to every community group about every decision, otherwise you'll get nowhere. In response to the public outcry from civil rights groups, Mr. Kennett said, if they want that commie rubbish, they can go to Russia. Hmm. <laughs> In response to the um, answer that Russia is no longer communist, Mr. Kennett expelled the whole press contingent from his office, claiming they were working for the 7.30 report. And at last count, since legislation was passed last week, the population of Victoria stands at 
626. 626. And counting down. Now it's time for the finance report. Okay. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Sam. And now for the finance report. The All Ordinaries closed at 5.2 points up today. BMP mining stocks, two points down. Solcom, 1.7 points up. Hang on. Bruce, do you know what the fucking hell I'm talking about? Sam? No, I don't think so. I mean, Christ, how many people out there in television land have got any fucking idea of what I'm talking about? I certainly don't. Oh, I'm off down the pub. Cheerio. Catch us later. The legalisation of marijuana. Most people win at eating. Yeah, I always do. No. Excuse me, uh, we're for community television. I was just wondering... Okay, on your way. Well, I'll be buttered and burnt on both sides, Sam. You apparently... certainly will. That's right. Well, apparently reports are filtering through of a number of sightings of a half-man, half-monster creature near Merry Creek. We'll... An area known to locals as Yowie Country. We'll cross live to our man, Sam Shirtlifter, who's at the scene. That's right. Hi, Sam Shirtlifter here for Couch News Network, deep in Tiger Snake Country at Merry Creek. There have been more and more mysterious sightings of Yowies in this part of the creek, so this week Couch News Network decided to come out and check these claims out once and for all. Look! A footprint from a dreaded Yowie! Ah! Could we get an interview? Yeah, sure! So, what do you think of the current Charles and Die saga? Oh, um... I think it's pretty shocking, really, but, well, what can you expect from a bunch of inbred Germans sitting around in a palace all day with nothing better to do? I mean, really. Ah, so, um, yeah, thanks for your time, Mr. Yowie, and, um, well, what are you up to now? Um, I'm going to go and crash at a mate's house, because um, Vic Rhodes have demolished my house to widen Alexander Parade. You don't know where I can get any pot, do you? Well, uh... Well, anyway, that looks like that's the um, the Owie mystery wrapped up there. Uh, this is Sham Shirtlifter for uh, for Couch News Network signing out. <laughs> what colour is your couch? My couch, cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel about the legalisation of marijuana? I think it's probably a good thing. Yeah. Why's that? Because it's it'll stop younger children using it as often as something to do to defy their parents and. It, why can't, can't it be legal when there's other drugs that are more harmful that are legal? Of course, thank you very much. Pot, chuff, weed, skunk, ganja, dope and grass. Innocent enough words in, in their own right. But to so many Australian youth who fall victim to the demon drug cannabis, they mean a death sentence. With me now, I have one of these pathetic victims who, for the sake of his own privacy, has been, we've been using a false name. Now Steve, talk, Bill, what has happened to you as a result of marijuana? Oh man, it's just really messed me up. The plant spoke to me man and it told me to throw bricks at old ladies. It made me gamble at the Crown Casino. It made me buy a pair of river shoes for God's sake and I hate river shoes. I even thought I could leave her, leave her to all liberal voters. I see. And how long have you been like this? Five years at least now. And how many times in those five years did you use marijuana? Just the once. I was at this party, I had one toke on a joint and that's it. So, one toke on the joint was all it took to make you the pathetic wreck which I find here today. I figure it must be. I mean, two slabs a day, they couldn't be doing no harm, could they? They're legal. The dangers of marijuana. And in later breaking finance news, not to be confused with later breaking wins, Sammy, we've got cat's balls up five points. Missed with the two there. We've got cigarettes down three packets. Stubbies up two slabs and pots, well, not really stabilising, somewhere between 25 and 30 a G. Thank you very much, finance update.
I'm Neil Nobody. And I think now we'll just cross to Sam for his 20 cents worth. 20 cents? Well, that's bloody useless these days, isn't it? You can't get much for fucking 20 cents anymore. You can't even get a game on the pennies. I remember when the pennies were 20, maybe even 40 cents, but now they're all a fucking dollar, maybe two dollars. Bruce, I remember when 20 cents was worth something. You could go down the shop, get 20 cents of mixed lollies, and you wouldn't get bloody five mint leaves or whatever you get these days. If I had 20 cents, I reckon I'd leave it at home. It's not even worth taking out. You can't even get a can of Coke. Just have to wait until your funds accumulate or whatever. And if you're wondering what you're going to get for your 20 cents tonight, you just fucking got it. Okay, more news from Victoria. Oh God, can you believe it viewers? That old Joffa Kennett is back in the news again. Four times tonight, isn't it Sam? He's on a roll. Sure is. Well this time it appears he's been making roads into the privatisation of air. Yeah, a user pay system for breathing it appears. Joffa, Joffa, Joffa. Joffa. It seems Bruce that a company called Pay for what you breathe, an American consortium, has brought the rights to our Aussie air. I suppose if you want free air, Mr. Kennett's going to say, why don't you just move to Cuba? Get your freebies while you can. can. <gasps> Colours your couch. What colours me couch? Black yeah. and white. Okay, now for sport. Bruce, sport's not very funny. It's shit, isn't it? Yeah. We'll, we'll cross straight to the weather. G'day. Sam Sunnybark here with the weather. And um, Bruce has been a bit of a private schoolboy and left for the day, so we're going to have to use the help of Stacey Stratus Cloud. Now, it's been a great couple of days for the weather with the greenhouse effect, the ozone layer, and traffic pollution creating zany, wacky weather all around us. So, here at the Weather Bureau, we haven't really got a clue what the weather's going to do, so it's across to Stacey now who will give us a four day forecast. Thanks Bruce. Here we go, we're spinning that wheel. See what Wednesday holds for us. Wednesday, is gonna, there's gonna be a bit of wind. It's, mm, maybe a good day for the washing. Let's see what Thursday has for us, Stacey. And Thursday, after the winds, it's gonna keep on being windy. <laughs> It's going to be wind for about two days. Good for the washing. Friday, Stacey. Sunny and fine. That's going to be great. A great start to the weekend. It'll be about 16 degrees. Come on, let's follow up with Saturday. What's it going to be, Stacey? Here at the weather wheel. Cloudy, so it's not going to be that good of a weekend. Maybe Sunday might, might hold a bit more for you. And now it's time to move on to the pressure pattern. Now up here we have a few low fronts coming in across the map of Tassie. And up north, a few highs coming across. That'll be great weather if you're living up in this area, but pretty piss poor if you're down here. Now, where's that foggy list? Here we go. And Mrs G Simpson from Western Australia is 104 today. Good on you, love. She contributes, she says that getting 104 is due to her diet of tinny and fags. And good on you, love. And who else have we got here? Mrs T Putnik from sunny Queensland is 101. And she's just gotten off a successful diet of speed. Well done. I hope you're looking good. <sighs> Now, keep those cars on the road and keep those zany weather patterns happening all across us. Thanks for watching Couch News Network. And remember, all roads lead to the casino, and if they don't, they soon will. Brown couch, I love.